वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ यशरा बॉक्स लेवल डेटा टेबल वी आर गोइंग टू सी कॉलम एडिटिंग सो दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी नाइस इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव सीन अबाउट द रो एडिटिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन गेट ऑल दीज कलर एंड वेरियस रो रिलेटेड एडिटिंग एंड एडिंग डिलीटिंग things but now it's time for column so how we can add a new column so suppose i want to add a new column so it's very easy you just need to use this thing adding a new column so go here on the controller where you are using this so just say this thing and now we have a new column of intro so if i go refresh this page and open the network tab refresh once more and this is ajax part data and every data is now have intro column so how we can populate that intro column in the data table so you need to go here and just say instead of name i will say intro like this and let's give a name of intro okay so because we have done changes here we need to make changes on the table head also so intro is there and refresh and this time you can see we have intro which is giving hi and the name so this is the simple way of adding uh, another column to your uh, data table but when this is going to be super useful so for explaining you these things i have created a roles table and every user is now have a role id that means each user has at least one role so we want to add a column which is just going to say role so let's go vs code on this i will say instead of intro i will say role and here also i will say role and role but if i go and refresh it's not going to work it says hey role is not available in your data whatever you are getting so like if i show you here on the data yeah we don't have any role column so instead we have intro but we don't want intro we want role so why not say role but it's not any hard coded thing so what we need to do we need to give like this so like role arrow name so how about this hmm state again it's having some problem so what's the problem it says role non object okay so why not this time use closer so i'm going to use this closer so let's use this closer and column name is again role and this time i'm going to return user and then role arrow name let's see this time what will be the result and yeah you can see we have easily given the role which is actually another table which just connected via relationship and with the relationship with the use of relationship we have added the column and it's looking like role is also inside a user table so this is the way you can add column to your existing model then comes the edit column so edit column is simple the existing model you have and you can edit it and again i'm using this closer part for editing purpose so edit column and this time i'm going to edit the created at column and here i'm going to say created at is going to be created at and let's use diff for humans and in that way if i go and refresh this page you can see created at it's not just a timestamp but a simple uh, system where it is saying that when it is created how much time ago so this is the way you can edit any existing column on your data table again one thing is that you can also use uh, the blade file to edit any column so suppose i have another column and instead of another why not use updated at so i'm going to use this and the name of column i'm going to update is edited at and now i'm going to specify the blade file so blade file is column which is not available so let's create so 
column.blade.php and we have created that and here I just want to give a button which is saying hello or hello in is instead of say, I will say updated give a class of btn btn uh, small or access small is good so this is nice and now if I go and refresh this page you can see it actually uses that same HTML whatever I define in this blade file it will reflect here but we don't want this one again to make this working that means it is parsing the button or the HTML we need to go to this row columns or it's not row it's raw columns so we just need to define which column is a uh, is going to be a raw column so I will go here and I will say raw columns is that has to be inside array is updated at so as we have defined this one and if i now go to refresh this page yes you can see it is there so why not do one thing btn btn info and this time yeah you can see these buttons are there and you can do anything you want with jquery or uh, javascript simply and you can get this button and each button is inside the tr that means row and row has id so you can get the element and actually the id of each row so in that way it is very useful to have any uh, raw thing any html parsed yeah you can remove any column also so suppose i don't even want that updated at so i just want to remove that updated at why we need updated at so let's say remove column so yeah they have given for password but we don't have the password so let's just say updated at I'm going to remove so as I remove this but we have defined that we are going to use updated at so we need to delete from here and from here also in that way it is going to work absolutely fine so now we don't have the updated at and that's exactly remove column says then index column I think you know what is index column it just define which column you want to have an indexed one and these are the things for uh, adding or column editing you can see export column is there but there is some problem with uh, the website this these things are not working but I think you get the idea how these uh, column editing are going to work so you can add uh, you can see this uh, export and print column later when it is working so if you have liked this episode please go and share with your friends if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye